بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم uh, regarding Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu uh, I think Hazrat Umar radiyallahu anhu or somebody else has said he has lisan sa'ul what does he have? he lisan sa'ul what does fa'ul mean? what part is fa'ul? tasrif al-izzi khatun nada fa'ul amtad al-mubalagha al-ghafur al-ghafir is one who forgives and ghafur has a more intense meaning to do it more so fa'ul so sa'il is one who asks. He has a, has a tongue who asks. But sa'ul, even more. Not normal asking, but he asks more. So in, in acquiring knowledge, questioning has a very great part to play. What's the lesson in the Quran regarding asking? فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ If you do not know, then ask those who do know. Simple, isn't it? If you do not know, ask those who do know. But there's a few things you keep in mind here, a few things, especially for a student, a few things you keep in mind. Number one is, you have to know what to ask. Okay, so let's say for example, let me give the, f- the first year student example. When you're in the first year, you ask anything you want regarding understanding what is in the book. Ask anything you want to understand, ask anything you want, as often as you want to make sure that you understand what is in the book. So for example, if you don't understand for some reason, the structure of Inna Allaha la ghafoorun. You can ask that. But don't ask, have you mentioned in the book what, what's harfu mushabbahum bil fail mean? Did you mention what harfu mushabbahum bil fail means? No. Did you mention what does it mean? No, it means, okay, translation as indeed. But what does it mean? Harfu mushabbahum bil fail. What does that mean? Harfu mushabbahum bil fail. Itself, what does that mean? Do you know what it means? No. no. Is it in the book? No. So at this level, beginning level, don't ask questions which are beyond your capacity. If it's not in the book at the moment, that means it's probably not at your level. You understand? Yes? Why is it noon tawqeed? Why don't you have a meme tawqeed? Don't ask that question. It's not in the book. Because you confuse it. You, you get it gets too confused. Yes, if you don't understand how the noon tawqeed is translated, ask that question. You understand? Have you ever asked what Harkum Shabbat Bil Fail means? You should, you should be asking that because you don't know the Masali. You, you come across it. So now you're at a higher level. You're doing the third level of Nahu. So you're supposed to know what Harfu bil fail means. When is Mushabbahun bil fail? What's the Mushabbaha? Why is it Mushabbaha in? Which aspects are Mushabbaha in? You understand? So every level of studying has the right questions to ask. If you're too clever, or you, you, not too clever, somebody get not too clever, they get too, uh, they overwhelm themselves. You get confused. Why, does, why is it Qala? Why is it not Nasara? Why is it not? Don't worry about that. In Sarf, in the first level, all you have to know is Qala, Qala, Qalu, Qala, Qala, Ta. What is it? Qilna? No, it's Qulna. That's all you have to remember. So at each level, so all you have to know in the first level is, this learn Qulna. So you learn Qulna. When you get to a high level, we'll explain to you the ruling. So if you try to overcomplicate stuff, what happens? At the beginning level, what does happen is, you get confused. You understand? Each level of knowledge has a, the way or the, of asking. You understand? And if you, over, if you ask too much at that particular time, you can confuse yourself. But make sure you ask enough to make sure you understand what's been in the book. Whatever is being taught, make sure you understand that. Ask questions regarding that. You understand? So within the framework of the book, as much as you want, you can ask. And the questions are very, very helpful. Why? Because even for the teachers, you ask something new, we think of it, we have to think of an answer. We knew the answer. We didn't we, we knew we know the answer, but we didn't even know the question that we had the answer to that question. Now we think, oh yeah, that's also a way of saying it. So it's very useful. Okay? You go to a higher level, now you have to know the opposite way around. Your, found, your foundation has to be very strong. So now, if you can't, when we now, if you know in uh, Quran translation, I say, what does Anzala mean? Which Bab is it from? You can't expect now in Quran translation to ask what, which Bab Anzala is from. How to find a dictionary. That has to be done from when? Before. You understand? So if you ask two complicated questions at the beginning, you're going to confuse yourself. And if you ask two, if you ask questions which you should have known from before, that's unfair on now the teacher and the other students. Because that's something that's covered before. You understand? Yes, I think it's a difficult structure. You have all these difficult structures. Matas kutumi warakatin, the whole discussion we had. So that's a difficult structure, no problem. You get what I'm saying? So you have to know. You have to understand which level you're at. Okay? Another two points. A, st- a, a, a student who is, is clever, or who finds things easy, they should have enough sabr, enough patience to do what? Say, well, you know what? Okay, this student is struggling a bit. 
it's easy for me, but it's not easy for everybody. So this person, within a certain limit, a certain reason, they're asking for it to be explained, re-explained, within a certain amount of time, within a certain certain limits. And then you, the people who are clever, Allah has given you intellect, given you aqal, you're easy for you to understand. You should be shukar, alhamdulillah, and be patient. And say, well, this student is also our, our classmate. So we also want them to, to strive, and we also want them to achieve and get good, and become good and understand. But there's also another limit, it's also a limit. You understand? Somebody's weak, you the teacher can't spend the entire class for two days explaining one particular issue to you. It's not fair on everybody else. You have to know, he says, well, ask the teacher, does the teacher have time after class, before class, to then assist? There's a limit both ways. The, 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 the students who are clever, you can't expect that. It goes at your speed. speed. The most clever student, it won't go at his speed, it has to go at an average speed. And then those, those who find it a bit more difficult, a bit more challenging, they also have to be considerate that, you know what? I think I'm taking a bit too much time. I've, I've tried, I've asked once, I've asked twice, and I'm not getting it. Maybe, maybe let me see if I can uh, ask after class, before class. Let me ask someone another, Apa, that maybe, can I come in early? Can I stay behind? Can you help me, assist me? You understand? All of these things have to be uh, kept in mind. So, sual is very, very important. Questioning, understanding. Uh, if, like I said, you're not here just to memorize, regurgitate, and then go home. That's not what knowledge is about. Knowledge is processing information, understanding it. We should get in the depth of it. But it all has to be done in what? The right level, the right system. If you do too little, too much at the beginning, then you're going to confuse yourself. For example, beginning years, many times people ask, how do I say this in Arabic? But don't ask me that question. Because why? I'm teaching you from Arabic to English. How do I say, uh, I was going down the road and I saw a car. So you haven't done that yet. If you don't know how to say that, you haven't taught that yet. What's in the books? Do you know what's, what's in the book? That's it. When you, when you go beyond that, then it gets complicated. You just explain this, another rule, you haven't done this rule, you haven't done that rule, you haven't done the vocabulary. It gets conf you get confused. What's in the book? There's a structure, there's a syllabus that this is going to develop you. Develop you. And when you get to a high level, you, you automatically understand that. It's not that we, the teachers don't know. It's like, if I explain this to you, it's going to confuse him when he hasn't done this, he hasn't done Hadith Ranjali, he hasn't done Mudafi Ilayh, he hasn't done Mushaf Ilayh, Muqaddam. It's going to confuse him. Just say, not now. And if you get to a high level and you're just reading Quran translation, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't asked a question, you don't see any contradiction, you don't see any confusion, you don't have, you don't say, well, I don't understand this, how does it fit with this ayah, how does it fit with this verse, this verse says this, you said that last time, then you just not doing anything. You understand? So you have to, very, very important, you have to have a lisan and sa'ul, you have to ask and be inquisitive, but then there's, there's boring reason. What you ask at each level, and then, those who are clever, those who are uh, uh, sharp and they pick up things quickly, you have to have patience, and those who find it a bit difficult, then also have to have a bit of understanding that I've taken, I've, I've taken, I've got, everybody has a right to ask the teacher certain questions. And if you think it's taking too long, then now you have to say, well, no, I've taken a good set of the teacher's time. I've still understood. I'll try maybe using some other resources. I'll watch a video again. I'll uh, ask the teacher before class, after class. You understand? So this is very, very important. According to your level, according to the classmates, according to everything. So keep it, keep it like this. You understand? So make sure you have questions. Make sure you actively participate in the class. But all within, the boundaries and limitations of su'al. Does that make sense? Yeah, everybody following me? It's very, very important. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to atabah when he said, Subhanallah, bihamdi, 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 subhanallah, b